the other question we asked part A and part A was how far will it go? Well, the equation of motion in the x direction is x naught plus v naught x t plus one half a sub x t squared. And we have to again fill in some constants here. We don't know how far it's going to go. That's what we're going to determine. But we're going to say that it started at the origin, so x naught is zero. This initial x component of speed, or velocity, we equal v naught cosine theta. And this time is the same time that we calculated from part A. So I'll just put that t from part A right there. And this last term is zero because the acceleration in the x direction is zero. So this total x, uh, which we'll call the range when the ball strikes the ground again, is when um, v naught cosine theta, and I have to put in the time for the ball to reach the ground. Whatever that time is. There's an expression that the range equals v naught squared 2 times the cosine of that angle times the sine of that initial angle divided by g. Now I'm going to use uh, a trig identity that the sine of 2 times an angle is 2 times the cosine of an angle times the sine of an angle. So that the range is v naught squared sine of 2 theta over g. It's worth just checking our units. This has units of meters, a velocity has a units of meters per second, so this is meters squared per second squared. An acceleration has units of meters per second squared, so the per second squared down here cancels the per second squared up here in the numerator. And this has meters squared, but this has meters, so one of the meters squared in the numerator gets canceled away. So this is actually checks out in terms of units. And here's our answer to part B. So this says something perhaps intuitive, that the ball will go further the faster I kick it, but it also depends in an important way on this angle of theta. This sine of an angle is always less than 1, or less than or equal to 1. But it equals 1 when the argument of the sine function is 90 degrees, or in other words, this theta is 45 degrees. And so football players know that if you're going to punt, you don't punt straight up, and you don't punt straight forward. You punt at an angle of 45 degrees, or something pretty close to that, if you want the ball to go as far as you can.